All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, we about to get started here in a second. Y'all about to see my shot by Shimon Kabudas, but rock a thumb. All right, two brothers tuning in. All right, got a, a live stream. We about to start up here in a second. Let me get the camera straight. Waiting on uh, a couple other brothers to pull up, but I'm going to go ahead and kick it off while brothers on in, in route. You know? I'm gonna say Shemai, Yasharala, Yahawa, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Akhad. Alright. And for those that don't know, alright. That's here, Israel. Our power, Yahawa, is one. Okay? Shemai. Here, Yasharala, Israel, Yahweh, our power, Allah Yahweh, is one. Okay. All right. All right. So Shalom, double honors to the apostle, those of great millstone, peace, salutation to the hope of the elect. All right. Faithful and diligently preaching His word with fear and trembling through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. We're gonna start off as always giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ba'chachakodash. Right? So we're gonna get right into it, man. Uh, as you see the title of the stream, right? Pull this thing back just a little bit. All right, we count down to the kingdom, all right? As you see, the prophecies are. Uh, uh, Jumping right out of the book, the Holy Bible, the King James Version is what we read out of. All right, here at Great Millstone, we like to focus on the prophecies. All right, as you see the title, all right, count, counting up the cost as we count down to the kingdom. Right, because you see a lot of things happening in the earth right now where, uh, you know, prophecies uh, that were written in the Bible spoke of thousands of years before you know uh, we came into this time that we in now as a matter of fact i'm gonna get the book of uh habakkuk the second chapter to open up all right like i said brothers will be uh lord willing pulling up here in a second we're gonna get right into it all right so let's get habakkuk It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. All right, so what are, what are we standing on the tower watching for? We're watching for the prophecies, the things that were written in the Bible, all right, before the time we live in now okay foretold of the events that would lead up to our lord and savior whom the world you know is jesus christ uh coming back to the earth to judge the earth all right to deliver those of his elect and destroy those of the wicked all right verse two and the lord yahweh answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it, you know. So the things that were written four time were written, all right, uh, with uh, words that uh, describe the visions that they were having concerning these times. Okay, and then those times, these things that are going on now, certain uh, things that are going on now didn't exist. Okay, like thermonuclear missiles, the MOTB, the mark of the beast. Right, pertaining to Revelation 13, 16, okay? Uh, the different uh, uh, nations that would be in power were described as uh, beast, all right? And their governments were described as uh, a beast, okay? So those things that were written then were written for us in this time that we may break it down so that you can understand it, all right? 
because a person that receives a vision is, is, is known as a prophet, okay? The Most High sends those visions uh, for us to understand in the future, all right? What, was, what is going to happen? So it says, verse two again, and the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon table. So when you make something plain, all right, you make it what? Easy to be understood, all right? And then once you go into these prophecies and you foretell the narrative uh, of the Most High's judgment that's written in the scriptures, people will see those things manifest in the earth and then they'll understand, all right? Because all the different prophets that were before pretty much wrote the same vision of the Lord's judgment, just from different perspectives, all right? So we're gonna go to verse three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, okay? So we're counting down the time. We're counting down to the final uh, 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 clock, okay? As these uh, doomsday preppers prepare right they have something called a uh, 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 a doomsday clock all right well that doomsday clock is really the scriptures all right the true doomsday clock the, the, the true doomsday watches are the prophets and the true doomsday clock is the prophecies written within the scriptures all right for us to understand all right before the lord comes the things that are going to be happening it says For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, right? So these things that were written so long ago before, uh, you know, the time that we're living in now, all right? Uh, the men of the Lord and the prophets before spoke of those things and we were always waiting. We always been waiting on the day of our Lord's return, okay? As the, as the uh, disciples inquired, which I'm gonna get here in Matthew 24 chapter, 2000 years ago when the Lord was on the scene, all right, when the kingdom of heaven would come, uh, would come to pass, all right? So this is the book of Matthew chapter 24. And I'm gonna start at verse three, it says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, speaking of Yahweh Shah, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Meaning what? The end of the age that they were living in back then, which was the Roman Empire. Okay? The word world there goes into the Greek word eon, which means an age. So they wanted to know what was going to be the end of the empire that they were currently uh, serving on, which was the Roman Empire, right? Which today, as prophesied, the Roman uh, Empire has risen up again after it fell for a thousand years, okay? So we're back in that same time, but the Lord said that that generation would be back here today, that that generation shall not pass away, okay? So let's keep going and, and let's, let's see the things that the uh, uh, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai told the disciples of that will come to pass. All right, these are the things that ultimately were never going uh, to tarry. All right, you know what I mean? They were going to come to pass, even though they're going to uh, happen over a period of time. All right, they're going to come to pass because the Lord's word is a sure foundation. Verse four, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. So it's going to be a time of great deception in the earth. All right? So up until pretty much the 1970s, we were in that time. All right? We were in the time where we fell away from the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and the power of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh All right? where we were completely oblivious to uh, really the prophecies, who we are as a people and our power. Right? But now we're in the time where the Lord has work, has a, uh, awakened us to righteousness, okay? You'll give me 2 Corinthians 15 and, and 34. 
all right? Because as, as we speak to this very day, some of our people are still in gross darkness, all right? Having no idea that we're in the time of great judgment. The Lord is about to bring great judgment upon the earth, all right? And the very livelihood, the very lives that they live are about to be threatened by this beast. And they're not gonna have any, you call like, nah, he trying to call me on the phone. So, yeah, the very livelihood, all right, that they live is about to be threatened by this beast, all right? And they're not gonna have any way to overcome this beast and his system or his mark, least they turn to the power, the supreme powers of the universe, your how about shot, all right? Go ahead. Now this is 1 Corinthians 15 to 34. And it say, awake to righteousness. Who is it talking about? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics. You are Yasharala, the princes of the power. You are the sons of God. You are the ones that the Lord uh, bestowed righteousness upon, which the righteousness is of his law, statutes, and commandments, right? Go ahead. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Mm -hmm. For some have the like for some have not the knowledge of the most high. I spake this to your shame. Right. So these things are shameful when you don't the the, the, the righteousness of your Habashimi Hawashai is a shame unto you when you don't know it. When you don't know your Habashimi Hawashai, when you don't know who your true power is, when you don't know who you are as a people, it's a shame unto you, man. Okay? Because now you are caught in the snares and traps of death of the wicked one. All right? And the wicked one today is being Esau Edom. All right? In the Bible, known as Esau Edom, today being, today being actively, uh, 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 today being actively known as the so-called self-proclaimed white man, Caucasian. All right? These are your enemies. These are the true false prophets. Okay? because they uh, are trying to upset prophecy, you see? Now our people uh, fall under the banner and they are uh, full of deception as well. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be the elect that's going to be on point with the prophecies and with the signs, all right? And stand upon their watch and count the cost, okay? You had something? I keep going on, man. Go ahead, bro. And it says, verse 35, what some man will say, how are the dead risen up? Go ahead. And it says, as wet, wet body do they come. Right. So the dead going into you. Give me Revelation 11 and 8. Okay. The dead going into you not having that breath of life. The spirit of understanding. John 6 and 63. The spirit of truth. All right. Because anybody that liveth the lie is ultimately a, a walking dead man. Okay. Because the Lord said what? He's going to judge the world with the true uh, understanding of his righteousness. Okay, go ahead. Now this is uh, Revelation 11, I mean 8 and 11. 11 and 8. 8. It's like 11 and 8. And it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of their great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, and their dead bodies shall lie in that great city, not physically dead, but mentally and spiritually dead to true power. All right to the truth the truth of your existence the truth of this world and why we are here the purpose of our life all right that's the uh that's the true power that's what makes you alive go ahead it says well our lord you have about shema shower crucified right because our lord is the king of righteousness malak tazada all right and here he is crucified through the policies through the government through the very system that you are uh, are under uh, 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 you are crucifying the the supreme uh, ruler of the earth, man. Okay, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, because you belong to Him. He created you. Okay, yeah. He created all things that you see before you, right? Yeah. That, that's why this knowledge and wisdom and the understanding was given up to the prophets. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about it, Christianity can't break this right here down to. You. Right. And can explain to you what actually a dead body is according to the scriptures. Right. You see? But the Lord have given us the understanding. All right, meaning what? You 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 not woken until the knowledge of wisdom understanding. That's all it means. The yep. Jake in the world say he in a dead state of mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not physically dead, but what? He mentally dead. Why? Because he don't have an understanding of what's being told. Yep. 
You know what I'm saying? So this is the same thing that is explaining. This says, uh, verse 36, that fool. We all know what a fool is. Where you at, huh? Oh, I'm in mean, first Corinthians 15. Oh, okay, you back in first Yeah, yeah, that's why I stopped back too, because it's a little more now. It said, that fool. And the fool is the way a person don't believe in the most high. All right? And then it says, that which thou sowest is not quickened, mm -hmm. except it die. So what got to die? The old man. You know, the scriptures say that we dead and yet was shot. Because why? We gave up this world. You see, we made our body live in sacrifice, man. So if you're not quickening, because quickening means what? Make alive. It means make, you being made alive and what? The knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of your high by shot, you came to the true understanding. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that unless what? You kill off that old man. That's right. And when the brother read it, now it's high time to wake out of sleep. Why? Because our salvation is the that we believe in. You know? Yep. But then, uh, can you go back to, can you go to uh, uh, Matthew 24? Yeah, uh, you want me to start at, at uh, 5? Yeah, but see the whole the whole reason why uh, our people are, are are dead in a dead state of mind, right? Because this this place is is ruled by uh, darkness, yeah. right? The whole deception uh, system was set up by Esau Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Uh -huh. So they they spent billions of dollars to keep you deceived, to keep you blind to the truth, all right? To keep you from being illuminated. Go ahead, bro. This is Matthew 24 and 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Yahweh Shah, or, or Mashiach, being anointed. Right, and who was the first one to really come and deceive the entire world to believe that they are the anointed, that they are the, the, the true judges of the earth, the wicked, Esau Eden, so called white man? Yep. So, read that again. It says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. Right. Right. Give me Joel 9 and 24. Right? Because, we, and then we're going to go back to uh, Habakkuk, right, where I opened up with. In Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, of not well, and who is he? Malachi 1 and 4, all right? Eat them. They're the wicked. They're the ones that's ultimately responsible for this dark covering that's over the earth where people are not able uh, uh, to discern righteousness from wickedness, all right? Where light is looked at as darkness and darkness is looked at as light, okay? They took their face and painted it as the image of the most high okay so first so we have to we got to deal with public enemy number one man okay but the thing about our power is the hubba shimmy house once he woke us up to who he really is and his true image and his true names the man of sin the the, the true false prophet which comes which is the roman catholic church okay the roman catholic church is what started all these religions okay and that was a whole part of, of that uh, serpent, okay, beguiling Eve in the beginning to accept the, the philosophy. Because that's when sin came into the into the world. Now you uh, were pretty much subject to be blind. You made subject to sin. You made subject to be blinded to the truth, right? Go ahead. Read that again, and then uh, go back to uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter. Job 9, 24. <clears throat> the oath is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges that were of not well, and who is he? Right. Now go to uh, Habakkuk 2 and 4. It says, Habakkuk 2 and 4, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, mm -hmm. but the just shall live by faith. Right. So at the end of the day, this man that's in the power seat is not an upright man. Okay? His whole thing is to turn everything upside down. That's who the Lord truly was warning us of, okay? Let no man deceive you, all right? Also of our own people, because our own people are full of uh, deception as well. But they get, their, uh, they get their philosophies and they get their doctrines ultimately from Esau, Edom, the wicked. Go ahead, Nabal. 
And it says, yeah, he also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Yeah, because he also uh, uh, transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Okay? So he's trespassing. Trans transgress means what? All right? Uh, that's sin. All right? Transgression of the law. So he's going against the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and he's been, he's been successful with it. Now he's starting to lose. Okay? Remember, his main power that he rules the earth with is what? So the deception and the sword, sword and deceit. Okay, which deceit is 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 what he uh, is is deceit is what he has been able to obtain his great power by for so long. Now you're about to see uh, the sword, his wrath. Oh, Revelation twelve and twelve, right now. Go ahead. Because yeah, his tongue, so mm -hmm. he's speaking with a full tongue. That's right. All right, and when he was breaking down. Uh, his line, you know, going to his philosophy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? His democracy, uh, you know, dealing with the government, legislation. His way of life. You know what I'm saying? That, yep. That's his line, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, that's like what I'm saying. That's how he was able to conquer. You know? Yep. Because uh, all of his ways are false ways. You mm -hmm. know? That's what the Lord say. Uh, uh, we hate every false way. Okay? So everything that he has taught us is a false way of life, is a is a, is a false knowledge, pseudoscience. Yeah. You know? This this is a prime example. You know, okay, if, if, you know, it's like basically if a man, you see a man continue to say what he gonna do and continue to do it, he get boastful, he get proud. That's what Esau have became. He became proud because the Lord allowed him to do certain things in the earth, man. Which is which which only was to what? Fulfill prophecy. But at the same time, this man became proud, man. You know? But now the Lord finna come what? And take him down. But it says, neither keep it at home. Right. It says, neither keep it at home. Okay? And that's how he rules over the earth. All right? By his philosophy, his way, his, 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 his military and deception. Okay? Go ahead. Yeah. And it says, who enlarges his desires as hell, as it is like, and is as death. And cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap unto him all people. Right, but gathers unto himself all nations and heapeth unto himself all people, man. Okay? So that uh way of life that uh is being described here in Habakkuk the second chapter that he saw Edom lives by, that's ultimately what he uh is still doing until this day. He's gathering to himself all people. Hence, that's what he's trying to establish, what? A global reset, a new world order, a one world government. Which this whole thing is to deceive you into his way being the way of righteousness. All right? But we are the ones that the Lord has set up to resist. Okay? And warn you of this man. Count down to his destruction. Okay? Because his way is only going to lead uh, uh, unto death, man. All right? As it say... He is as death. He cannot be satisfied. Okay, bloodshed, innocent bloodshed does does not uh, uh, with this man do, does not change his mind. All right, does not turn his heart. Does not cause him to repent. All right, go ahead. Let's get uh, Revelation twelve and twelve. But it's Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down onto you, having great wealth, because he know he had but a short time. So the more we get to the Lord's coming, all right, to judge the earth, the more that this man is going to show his teeth, the more bloodshed, the more he's going to heap nations unto himself, the more that you're going to see uh, this man for who he is, the more he's going to be exposed, man, okay? That's where uh, Isaiah 47 goes into, all right? Thy nakedness shall be exposed. Mm. So all these things are a countdown to the kingdom coming into fruition, man, right? We go, uh, you can go ahead and grab that Isaiah 47, and then I want to go back to Matthew. Uh, you got you back in Matthew? Right? No, I Jump back to uh, Matthew. Go ahead with that uh, Isaiah. Come, brother. This is Isaiah 47 and 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance 
and I would not meet these men. Right. So this is a part of the Lord's vision, exposing the wicked, exposing Esau Edom. Okay. Because once once his people realize who the devil is, they're going to snap out of it. They're going to awake to righteousness. They're going to awake to the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Because this man has painted a picture of the Heavenly Father's righteousness and perverted it. Go ahead. Jumping down to verse 9 and 10, it said, But these two things should come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, that should come upon thee in their perfection, for the multitude of thy sorceries. For the multitude of thy sorceries, man. You're dealing with the wicked uh, witch of the West, man. Okay? Esau, Edom, where the, the, the chief place of wickedness is where? Here in America. All right? And as you see, uh, since they come into power, right, pretty much the Greeks was uh, the foundation of the Edomite supremacy. All right? They push that philosophy all the way to the ends of the earth. When we get into Matthew the 24th chapter, when we get down towards the uh, end of the chapter, it says that this uh, this word is going to go forth to the uttermost parts of the earth. Then the end shall come. All right? Yeah. So everywhere this man has did his wickedness at, the Lord has had his prophets uh, uh, go and expose this man. Okay? So wherever he goes, we on his tail. As it's prophesied, what? Uh, uh, Jacob a uh, hand held, held Esau's heel yep. to pull him down. So the end of a man is his feet. The prophets coming out of the lineage of Jacob are pulling this man down on his campaign, his wicked campaign that he's uh, being conducting across the whole earth, yep. right? Pulling down strongholds. Pulling down the strongholds, man. If it said, and for the great abundance of the enchantments. As a matter of fact, get that. Give me for, uh Second Corinthians. For, uh, for thou man. for thou had trusted in thy wickedness, that has said, none seeth me. Yeah, just jump straight to fire. Thou has said, none seeth me. And that's what uh he didn't account for. He didn't account for the Lord uh having Jake on his ass, man, having the prophets on his ass, watching. And, and observing and pretty much the whole thing with the uh, prophets is to judge okay measuring the time diligently in itself all right so when you uh, 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 a measurement is a count okay as the uh you know the theme of the live show we're counting down we're measuring okay we're measuring these things being done in the earth who's doing this and who's doing doing that and what does this mean uh in concordance with uh, prophecy and the Lord coming to judge the earth, yeah. all right? It means we're, what, one step closer, all right? Well, we'll finish it, off. it said, thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it had perverted thee. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge have perverted thee, all right? That's what, he trans that's what he's transgressing by, all right? His knowledge of wickedness, all right? Because philosophy goes into what? Wisdom, all right? So, uh, we have a wisdom that is of the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Shai. He has a perverted wisdom of the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? Go ahead. And that has said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. So he has set himself up to be like the Most High. Hence, Matthew 24. All right? Let no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name. But the main one you had to watch for is Esau Edom. He's the one that set himself up as the most high. And with him being in a power seat, his power is supreme over all the other nations. Okay? He's the one that set up uh, Islam, all right, uh, all these different denominations of Christianity. Okay? These are why our, these things are why our people's minds are so perverted. Okay? And to back you up, because that was his blessing. You know, when you go into the book of Genesis. Seven chapter, 26 chapter. All right, when our eyes are blessed him with the fatness of the earth, the doors of heaven, then yeah, what? He gave him a soul. Right. You know, and right now we're in this season. We're in the season of Esau, all right, uh, uh, conquering him, man. But guess what? The time is coming that the Lord is going to take him off his, uh, his throne. Yeah, well, yeah, it, actually, his, con his, con his conquest, yeah, it's, his it's conquest is over. His conquest is over. But it's he, it's he, the end, like you say, the devil should come down to you because he know he at the yeah, end of yeah, the, the end of his so quest. He's gonna come like that, that you know what I'm saying? It, it speaks about how 
that he gonna come like a madman and spur and gun. Yep. So he's trying to come with the NWO thinking he gonna conquer. But at the same time, you have a shot, he's gonna throw a monkey wrench in the game. Yep. And why because why prophecy is meant for Esau to what? To go down. Mm -hmm. And Jacob to what? To be risen. That's right. You know? You got that. Uh, 2 Corinthians, y'all can all right, this is 2 Corinthians 10 and, and 5. five. It yeah. says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. Right. You see, that's what Esau, even with the brother just read, said what? I, uh, I, I'm uh, power and there's nothing else. All right? So he's told... Uh, Which is spiritual, that's what we're doing, blowing the trumpet. Okay? We're blowing the trumpet, ringing our room, ringing our room, like we're going to inside and eat it, man. You know? It's a funeral for America, man. Ooh, you know? Yeah, hey, that's beautiful. It's a, it's a funeral for America, man. That's beautiful, man. Right? Okay? No, I got to be some people. You know? Go ahead, bro. Read that again. Let's stay, right. let's stay locked in, man. Go ahead. Let's stay locked in. Hey, this is 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. It said, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. Right, so that's what the Most High was really, uh, Yahweh Shah was warning us uh, 2,000 years ago to watch for these people that exalt themselves against the Most High and say that they are the Most High. Right? Go ahead. And bringing into captivity every thought to, to the obedience of a Mashiach. Yep. Bringing in uh, 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 everything that exalted itself against the Most High into the obedience. All right. So our people are the only ones that are going to be uh, uh, saved out of this coming judgment when they return back to obedience. When they repent. Okay. Go ahead. We go back to whatever you had. Uh, bring it out, and then we go back to Matthew 24. Right. It's Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk so respectfully. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. Read from 5.14. 5.14? Yeah. Ephesians 5.14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and your whole shot should give thee life. Right. Arise from the dead. Which really means uh, come from under the stronghold that the brother's reading about. Come from up under this stronghold, this covering, this deception of the wicked. That's how you wake up. Okay? That's the light. Go ahead. 15. See then that you walk so respectfully, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right. Redeeming goes into what? Buying back. So yeah. buy back the times of righteousness by uh, uh, coming into the light, coming into the understanding of the truth. That's how we're going to get back to our paradise. That's how we're going to get back to rulership, man. All right? When we wake up and acknowledge, uh, when we wake up, repent and acknowledge our true powers, your heart by Shimi Hawa Shah. Some more? Yes, some more. It said, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Most High is, man. Yep. All right? All right? Understanding the times, understanding that we're about to go through great tribulation, man. Jacob's trouble, okay? Did you see uh, these gas prices rising, food prices rising, yet lack of food on the shelf? All these things are a part of the countdown to the judgment of the Lord uh, 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 destroying this place, okay? And ultimately setting up the kingdom of heaven on earth. Let's go back to Matthew 24. Yeah, 24 and uh, we at 6 now. I got it, bro. I got it. Okay. Alright, this Matthew is 24 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. What you see going on right now, okay? We're in the preliminary stages of World War III, all right? The Lord is putting a hook in the nations, all right? Right over there uh, in the, in the uh, uh, Middle East, okay? Everything is tense right now. Yeah. That's the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man, okay? Uh, uh, Joel the second chapter okay the Lord has already had all these things written up before they ever came to pass right 
So you're going to hear wars, rumors of wars. All right, go ahead. And it says, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. But yet we're still not at the end, okay? Again, though it tarry, wait for it. Because see, what you don't want to do is skip count. You don't, uh, you know, like on uh, the harder they fall, <laughs> uh, with that damn uh, mo that we just recently uh, uh, come to know of. What's his fucking name? Stansfield. What's the nigga name playing the harder they fall, bro? Stans, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Stansfield. I can't think his first name, but fuck him, man. Anyway, in the movie, the harder they fall, when uh, what's the what's the quick draw? What was his name? Shit. Uh, anyway, the quick draw, man. Brothers know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, anyway, I can't yeah, think of his he, name, he was counting down. You know, he's supposed to have been the quickest draw. Cherokee in, Bill. Cherokee Bill, man. Yeah, that nigga, Cherokee Bill, you know, told him to count it off. And he, you know, he was counting slow. He was like, yeah. so he skipped the count. He skipped like, the count. Man, I, I always got to count so slow, uh, you know? But you got to be on time with the most highest count, man. Okay? Because we, I, the, the more anxious that you get for the kingdom to come, actually, the more patient you got to be in the spirit, all right? Because you have to be uh, ready to endure uh, these monkey wrenches Esau Edom about to throw in the fucking game, right? Because uh, in actuality, what's about to happen? This goddamn dollar's about to crash, man. Right. Okay, the economy is about to crash. They about to phase out from this fiat money system, these greenbacks, into a digital age, man. Okay? All of this money that you're seeing uh, 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 going out towards the uh, uh, wars is crashing this economy. The reason why gas prices are going up, right? Is to, is to fund this war. The money is controlled by the bankers. The bankers control the wars. So what do they draw the money out of? They suck the people dry to fund their wars, okay? And their agenda is hidden from the average Joe six pack, all right, from the average nigga, okay? Yeah, just slide the camera back a little bit. There we go. That's cool. That should be cool. All right, go ahead, bro. Listen on that, but Matthew. Yeah, go back to Matthew. All right, precept. Go ahead, brother. Uh, get the precept hey, first. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, get your precept. All right, this is uh. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 16 and uh, 37. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Yup. <laughs> now the plagues attacking the gas pumps. <laughs> Niggas need to check the gas pumps to see if they got coronavirus, goddammit. They bugging the fuck out. <laughs> you see, man, I'm, like, I'm at the, I'm at the uh, pump, you know what I'm saying, getting gas. He saw all there having a fit. Man. You know what I'm saying? He out there talking shit, you know? Hey, but look, we rejoicing, man. As the scriptures say, rejoice ye heavens. Like this is a part of his wrath, man. Yeah. Here it is, you niggas. And, and I tell you, you you uh niggas show sure is mighty quiet now. All right, all you uh Joe Biden supporters, right. you know, you niggas show sure mighty quiet now, they praying, man. They praying on uh, uh, <laughs> uh, orange head come back. Yeah, they right. yeah, niggas, niggas probably in there. Man, man, we had it better when Trump was in there. Hey, what a nigga that that was crying. Right. Over Super Joe. Damn, they pushing hope and everything. Like, he, 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 he got up on you. Come on, man. That shit over, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, what a, um, we posted a video of this guy, um, Spent like thousands of some dollars at the gas pump, man. For, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the truck, the truckers. Yeah, yeah, the truckers. Uh, matter of fact, the brother Karami, the water posted there earlier today, and uh, you had a trucker. As a matter of fact, the original video I believe was put up by Elder Hawad. Okay, it was a short video. The truckers are spending. Uh, so diesel prices are up to five dollars more. And that's right. in Tennessee. That's just in Tennessee. Okay, so in other in other states, California and such, you know they even higher. So it, it it took him uh how much was it a thousand dollars a thousand two hundred and fifty dollars to fill up his diesel Ooh. all right and it was for what two hundred gallons yeah okay uh, yeah they're gonna, ooh, they're gonna bring the strike but that, that's another reason 
for the, uh, for the food. Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. was what he was going into. He said your milk. He was driving a reefer truck. Reefer. Right. So he said, look forward to your milk, your gallon of milk, being on eleven dollars real soon, man. Yeah. All right. I, I want to say this too. It's still just uh, the other night. I was walking on the reefer trailer and jump start. The month for one start. Uh, he was like, no, just leave it on there, leave it on there. I was like, man, you need, you got a dead battery. You need to replace that shit soon. Now, we can fast forward today. You know, look how much money they spend in it. So I'll let you know, this shit about to be dead, man. Yeah, this whole system. You know? Yeah. This, this whole system is a crumbling, man. Right? America circling the train. Go ahead, Doc. It says, uh, verse, uh, this is 2nd Ezra 16 and 38. And when a woman, uh, Salaki, as when a woman with child in the ninth month, bring it forth her son within two or three hours of, of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. Right, going, in, going into comparing the end times uh, birthing our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, okay? Just as a woman gives birth to a child, as she get closer to the birth, those pains intensify, right. all right? So the judgments in the earth are going to intensify. Those, those uh, pains that a woman has are, uh, uh, symbolic of the judgments that you're going to see coming into the earth. The judgments, shit, we just got today. Motherfuckers ain't even talking about it. Motherfuckers ain't even talking about COVID no more. Nope. You know, it's like, you don't even hear about COVID. You, all you hear is about the war, the hyperinflation, all right? <laughs> like, damn, that people, just down the road. They like, that shit, oh, we yeah. on to the next, Thank on to the you. next play. <laughs> Take your ass off, go back to work. Go back to work. Talk talking about this shit. Go ahead. It says, um, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. They slack not a moment. Throw it, Terry. Wait, wait for it. All right, because those what? Those contractions start coming quicker and quicker and quicker. Like right, the closer to their baby being born. Go ahead. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. All right, so you people are hopeful of America returning to normal. You know, I'm doing a ride. I'll just be listening to uh, Jake and Esau how they be talking about. Uh, you know, I mean, I, 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 man, I hope it, things go back to normal soon. Nah, this is the new normal. Yeah. The new normal is uh, continuous plagues. Go ahead. And and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Right, so on that note, let's go back to Matthew. Here you have the prophet Ezra saying the same thing that Yahweh Shah was telling the disciples in Matthew 24th chapter. The end is not yet. We are in a time of great sorrows. So now you finna see the comet boys filling up again. You remember when COVID first hit? See, this ain't nothing but another plague. See, Esau himself is the ultimate plague, all right? Now, that's gonna be more sickness. There's gonna be famine. There's gonna be, uh, 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 there's gonna be different bugs that come. Like, man, don't be surprised if the goddamn uh, uh, killer, uh, killer uh, hornets, uh, the locusts, mosquitoes, mosquitoes, mosquitoes yeah. uh, earthquakes, all this shit is happening because the, the earth uh, is, is, is fucking being uh, destroyed by the wicked. The foundations of the earth are falling apart. So the earth is really rebelling against the rulers, man. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Go ahead. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginnings of the beginning of sorrows, right? Elders it, it just foretold the same thing, okay? So, what it is is the more that you see these things, yeah. all right? The more that you see these things, which I'll see. Cheers. It's been with us the whole time, just disappeared. Man, that's beautiful, man. That's another. That's a. That's a. That's a. Call like like your heart shot. All right. That's another player. Give me. Uh. Give me. Give me. Uh. There you go. Give me. Uh. Uh. Zachariah. But this is the plague, yeah, you know. Five, five, yep. Four. Which that's talking of, that's talking about the missiles. But guess what? These chariots are going to be a plague to the earth too, man. They say you shall see uh, uh, signs in the heavens. All right. Those chariots are a sign of the Lord's coming, man. Okay. okay? Give me that. Uh, your scripture. Uh, look up. You know. We get a couple scriptures on that right quick. Which one you want first? Get the Zechariah. Okay. So this is Zechariah chapter 5, starting at verse 1. Then I turned and lift up my eyes and looked, and behold, 
a flying robe. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Right. So when you read in uh when you read in the New Testament, I believe it's the, I believe it's the book of Acts. When you read in the book of Acts, uh the, the, the disciples were gazing up at Yahweh Shah uh ascending into the clouds. They say, Why stand you there gazing? The same way that you see uh the Son of Man ascending, the same way you're gonna see him come back, rough paraphrasing. He's gonna come with the uh with the clouds, all right? But in the host of heaven, but the clouds really are the chariots. Okay. Go ahead. Verse 3. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face. See, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face, man. Alright. So this is another part of the countdown. You know? <laughs> over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that swear shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So what are the chariots essentially? They are the angels going around the earth judging. Okay. The angels are, 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 are keeping account of all the works that are being done in the earth. This is the plague. Okay. This is another plague. Man, that's, hey, I'll praise the Yahweh so much. Hey, man. Paul, man, you know, man, 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 sure. The second Esther is coming, man. Those are the chariots of our salvation. You know, we in our spiritual Egypt, you know, Memphis. Mm -hmm. So, hey, all praise the opposite one shot, man. Yep. Get some more on that. Uh, yeah, this Luke 21, 28. Mm -hmm. Can I start 27? Go ahead, bro. And then should I, and then should I see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. Right. That's how the kingdom of heaven, they say the kingdom of heaven comes not by observation, but with power, man. Come on, man. Go ahead. 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. Right, and that's why you come to see us looking up. <laughs> now you be wondering why brothers, you know, doing live streams, doing lessons, doing uh uh you know camps, brothers, you know, certain brothers teaching and reading other brothers looking up, but you know they they seeing these things, man. As as we're commanded to watch, we're watching for our salvation. Yep. It said, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption, draw it not. Right, because in in the midst of everything that's going on, you know, all the evil, the turmoil. All right, uh, there's, there's uh, the afflictions that's going on. We see all these things, but the Lord giving us hope. Like, okay, don't forget that you got a way out. All right, because a lot of people, because through uh, the way that the Lord set up the ministry for us to teach it is what? Through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we also have to be mindful that the Lord is merciful. Remember, he said uh, he will uh, have mercy upon Jacob. All right, he said, Jacob shall be saved, but he shall be saved out of it, pertaining to what? Jeremiah 30 and 7, uh, Jacob's trouble. How are we going to be saved out of it? By looking up, okay? Being beamed up out of here, man. Go ahead. Uh, I got Go ahead. This is John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye may have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Right, see, in Yahweh Bashin Yahweh we have peace. In the world, we have tribulation. So what we have to do is what? Separate ourselves from the world. We have to be constantly engulfed in the spirit. The, the more, see, what the Lord does through uh, us coming to this truth and being faithful is yeah. builds up our spirit to where we can endure more of his peace. Yeah. All right? Endure more of his comfort. Because the comfort really tortures the flesh. The comfort of the scriptures is a torture unto the flesh. If you are uh, attached to the world, the more attachments that you have to the world, all right, the harder it is for you to endure the spirit in the comfort of the scriptures. All right? So the, the, the longer that you're in this truth, the more it's going to be required for you to what? Turn up. To turn up. Yeah. Go ahead. It said, but be of good cheer and have overcome the world. This is it. Be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So at the end of the day, right? Uh, the only way that we're going to get the victory is through Yahweh Shah because he's already overcame. All right? He's already on the right hand of the Father. And the Lord has did what? Committed all judgment to him. Yeah. So if we please Yahweh Shah, we got a way out. All right? This, this brother, you know, uh, Yenari Allah, 
All right, pretty much just had a, a beautiful testimony the other night, man. Okay, he 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 his family, his household was threatened. Lies was threatened, man. Okay, but nothing happened. All right, the brother had bullet holes all through his house, man. I don't mean to just tell your story. You can you can speak on it, bro. Yeah, this it was a shooting that had happened. You know, at, um, where I live, that you know, the house up. the house here got hit up with bullets. You know. But luckily, you know what I'm saying, my family, you know, we were safe, you know, and hey, all praise to you, how about Shimmy, how was shot for that, you know? Hey, come, call Lord, you know, you how about Shimmy, how was shot? Like they said, they said, what? Well, 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 prosper, yeah. prosper. Yep, yep, and he said, what, if, you're, if you if you have faith in your how was shot, you, you should be able to uh, save your household, man, okay? So you're going to be protected, not only are you going to be protected through your faith in your how was shot, but your loved ones are gonna be protected, okay? You made me think about a troll, you know what I'm saying? He he out here in the spirit right now, we ain't worried about nothing, you know? Go ahead. Uh, I got one, I got one. This is Romans uh, 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now is a high time to wake out of sleep. Beautiful. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right, Why well, do you have what it takes to endure, right? Because like I say, the closer we get to the Lord's coming, the more things are going to intensify. All right? Do you have what it takes, man? Okay? Because you see all these things happening. Now, your mind should be, the, the more these things intensify, the more your mind should, uh, the more your mind should increase towards the kingdom of heaven. All right? The more your eyes should be single, the less these things around you should even matter. You gotta be ready to let everything go. I'm saying the more measurement that you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you start to see these things coming fast. Yep. Especially every day we wake up, we see the most high judgment coming fast. You know what I'm saying? So then there's more clarification that the kingdom of heaven is in hand. Yep. You know, and, and we out here week in and week out, in season out of season, all right, preaching the gospel, which is the good news. All right, then it do come, man. Yep. You know, are we doing it just setting the stage by our Lord and Savior, man? God. You know, so we must come out here and prophesy and warn. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hey, uh, the scriptures say, uh, uh, what manner of persons are you? Matter of fact, get that. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Get that second. Get that second. second bring that out, out since you're All right. We're going to do that. I know it's not up at, uh, yeah, that all way in. Uh, bring it on. Yeah, second uh, Peter 3 and 9. Yeah. Start at 9. Yeah. This is 2 Peter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Yep. And one promise the Lord have made to what destroy Babylon. All right. To put these heathens in subjection, man. All right. And what? He promised the kingdom of heaven. So that's a promise the Lord made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right. That he was going to bring the, 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 the kingdom back to what? To one. So the Lord not slack concerning his promise because even though men count slackness, all right, they putting out day to day, but not the Lord, man. All right, because he is time. Go ahead. And some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yeah, that's why I said, well, want you use your desire to dare the Lord. That's what in it is for you. Because understanding is what? That the elect is going to be saved out of it. But guess what? The elect still going to go through it. They're just, they're going to be delivered out of it. And two-thirds going to be what? Stuck in it. All right? That's that's for their destruction. They damnation. But for the elect, it's for what? They salvation, man. Yeah, it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right, because the thief is coming when you what? Least expecting. And two-thirds of our people right now are least expecting the Lord to come back. All right? They 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 they, they like hell now. Nah, we, we we need we need our uh, we need our bag for the Lord come. You know, we, we need our uh, college degree, you know, bachelor degree. They ain't looking for the Lord to come, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, um, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And that great noise, like Charles Mark was speaking on, it was the my little miss. All right, which is coming from what? Other countries, man. Here to Babylon the Great. 
It said who ought to be destroyed, man. America is the lake of fire. Uh -huh. Hey, now if I can add, in the midst of that great noise, which is the thermal nuclear missiles, the greatest noise that's ever uh, been heard is going to intervene. It's going to interrupt that war, man. That's your hollow shot, right? Oh, this yeah. is. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Ooh, the I earth also. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Right, so you see all the things off the backs of the ne Negroes, Latino, Native Americans that have been built in this society. Guess what? It's going to crumble. All right? It's going to turn to dust, man. All right? When the Lord allowed the chariots also with the missiles to take care of this place, man, it's going to melt like an oven. Look at that, Michael. Uh, four and one. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna burn as an oven, man. This is the day that's coming. See, this gonna put fear in you, man. Go ahead, Doc. Seeing then all these things shall be dissolved. Now, seeing it, because what? You measuring the time. You looking. All right, you seeing it on CNN, YouTube, you know, other platforms, the brothers, the apostles. You seeing it. You know, and we're breaking it down through the scriptures. But seeing all these things, go ahead. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be? Right. In all holy conversation and godliness. Right, when you're going to your what? What kind of conduct you gonna have, man? What manner of person are you to be? Is you gonna continue or you gonna give up? Because it, it, it's coming down to the wire, you're going to have to choose life or death. You're going to have to choose righteous or you're going to have to choose wickedness. You know? you're, going have to, you're, going to have, you're going to have to know the difference between the two. Yeah. Because it said even Satan has transformed himself into an angel, angel of light. light. So all these solutions that Esau even was about to come, come with for his uh, chaotic uh, lifestyle, like he brings order out of chaos. So the chaos is what we're seeing now, but he's about to come with an order. And like the scriptures say, for when he should say, uh, uh, peace, peace and safety, safety, then shut, sudden destruction shall come upon. So he's gonna put so much pressure on you, you wanna be looking for a way out, all right? <laughs> and his way is the way that leads to death. Okay, so you gotta know through the scriptures what this man's gonna do before he do it in order to get salvation. Yeah, that's right. This bitch, ooh, 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 this bitch is fine, bro. What is that? You got it? Yep. Verse 12, it says, Looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of the Most High. Right, because this is the year of the turn up. And we seeing the Lord is turning up things, man. So that's, that's another faith booster, all right, for, for the men of the Lord. Seeing how the Lord is turning these things up, man. All right, getting Jake out their comfort zone. No, that's the spirit, man. Go ahead, Doc. It says, wherein the heavens being on fire. <coughs> it's like you. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. Right, two times. It said that two times in the same, in the same chapter. You know? Go ahead. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Right. What's going to be it be dwelling on earth, along with the order, all right, the, as it is in heaven, on earth, man. We, that's what we look for, man. We have no continuous city here. Well, what? We seek one to come, all right? And that's the new Jerusalem, all right, that dwell in righteousness, man. All right, the Lord going to do away with this filthiness and this wickedness through the what? Through the fire, because that's the cleansing, all right, for this place. Thermonuclear missiles. What else can cleanse this place, man? Go ahead, Doc. It says, wherein, wherein dwelleth righteousness. What? Wherein what? Dwelleth righteousness. Why? Because it's going to be governed by the laws, the commandments of what? Of the Bible come from what? You have our Shemar Shah, man. All right, it was written. Now it's about finally finna go back to paradise, the Garden of Eden, as it once was. This is going to be what? Forever and forever and forever. You know? You got it, bro? I, I, he's gonna read Malachi yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. This is uh, Malachi chapter four, verse one. Wow. For behold, the day coming that shall burn as a oven. Yeah, that day is coming soon, man. 
We see the we see the preparation of Russia and Ukraine. That's just that's a preparation, man. Like you finna cook, you start getting all the season now, you start getting all your utensils. That's all it is. Alright, but hey, wait, wait till the Lord start to really crank it up, man. As an oven and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly. Just right. like a, uh, I was gonna say, just like an oven, you have to preheat an oven before you start baking. This we in the preheating yeah. right, stages of the war, man, or the or the end. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Go ahead. And, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. That's right. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord. You have by Shimmy have a shall of host. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Right. That's what's gonna happen to America. There's gonna be no way that America's gonna rise again. All right, once the Lord destroy this place with some nuclear missiles along with the chariot. All right, to anything that's rooted out is where it can no longer grow. You know what the Lord gonna do to this place, man? Go back. You go back to uh, go back to Matthew. You want to let the brother be, you let the brother be. Matthew 24 and uh, verse 9. 9. Okay, all right. This is back in Matthew 24 and verse 9. Be loud. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So that hadn't happened to us, you know, on a grand scale, right? You know, brothers have been. Uh, persecuted. Some brothers have went to jail for this truth, but pretty much there's already a legislation in play deeming us terrorists, right? Brothers gonna have to go through it, man. Be put in concentration camps, all right? FEMA camps, separated, taken out of their household, snatched up out of their household, all right? The famine of the word coming, we're gonna be, uh, some of us gonna be snatched up off the street, man, okay? Out here preaching the word, we make ourselves uh, a prey, okay? But at the end of the day, it's a way for the Lord to show his power. The Lord said for us not to be afraid of any of these things, okay? Uh, Revelation, the second chapter, all right? Give me that, Dr. Nunn, real quick, Bob Shop. Read that again from the top. So this is back in Matthew 24 and verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, it shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right, which that even happened 2,000 years ago. But guess what? The scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun. The thing that has been is the thing that shall be, and there's no new thing under the sun. That thing is the spirit. The spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. So the same thing that the prophets went back, went through back then is the same thing we're going to go through now. The things that were written aforetime were written for our learning that we may have comfort. All right? Uh, everything that's written in the scriptures, the examples of the men that labor before us are examples for us to have comfort because through all the tribulations that those prophets went through, what ultimately happened? They were delivered, all right? When did ever, when ever did a man trust in the Lord and was confounded pertaining to Sirach the second chapter, man? Okay, give me that Revelation 2 and 10. This is Revelation 2 and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Right, and every man's works, all right, it's going to be found out who's really uh, down for the cause, man. Who's really ride or die for your heart by shimmy how shot. It's about to be figured out, man. So the Lord is telling us at this time, look, prepare your hearts, okay? Meaning prepare your mind. You're supposed to have the mind of a soldier right now, man, all right? All, all that, you know, that baby shit, all that, uh, you know, that, that murmuring, all that, uh, you know, worried about your woman, you know, what, what, what am I gonna do? You know, it's, it's time to cast out all of that doubt, you know, put off that, that, that weak nature of the flesh, man. Okay, gird up, all right? Be, be prepared to lose it all. Go ahead. It says that you may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Right, and that ten days goes into complete. You don't know, you know, how long you may be in your situation, whatever it may be. But we gotta suffer like Yahweh shall suffer, man. Okay, you want the kingdom of heaven? It's gotta come with power. The Lord has to show His power to uh, bring you into the kingdom of heaven. And if you are the elect, He's gonna show that power through you. 
And then, and then with that too, uh, at the end, he said, uh, Speak up, Bob. Bob he, spoke, shot. he spoke about the death part. And then we got to have faith. You see, you got to have faith to believe that the Lord is going to give you a kind of life after you put your life on the line. You know what I'm saying? You got to have faith in that, man. Uh, you can you can go in front of that guillotine, all right? Yep. You, you know what I'm saying? To be uh, hexed out. Yep. You got to have faith, man. Then guess what? The Lord going to bring you back. So the dead should rise first. You know, yep. so all these precepts popping in your head in a time of your trouble. Yep. You gotta have faith, man. That's one thing the Lord is building us up for, man. He's building our faith up, man. Yep. That's the most most important. All right. Do we, do we really truly believe in the time come to be really gonna hold fast with our hands, man? Yep. And the Lord said He's gonna give us the crown of life. We just gotta continue and hold on to it. You know, but faith is gonna be tested. You know, the devil got the power to throw us in prison, man. But be thy faith unto what? Devil. That's right, man. Go, go, go ahead, y'all. This is uh, Sirach 4 and 28. Be with power, Bob Shasai. Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death. That's right, man. Strive for the truth unto death, man. Okay? And and you have to settle it in your minds that you're ready to die for this, man. Okay? It's, it's, we're coming into the time to see what you're really made of. That's why the Lord is showing us these things, fellas. That's why the Lord is, the brothers got uh, beautiful testimonies of things that they went through. But guess what? You have not yet resisted on the blood, man. Okay? So there's more to come. We got to turn up in the spirit, man. Go ahead, brother. And the Lord shall fight for thee. And the Lord shall fight for thee. Because we're not going to win this battle. On, it said, by, by strength shall no man prevail, man. Okay? Our own mental and physical strength is not going to get us out of this predicament when you go into the book of baruch the, Bar the book of baruch the fourth chapter tells us the the, the the power that brought us into this captivity is the power that's going to bring us out yeah, man go back uh uh you know y'all come so this is back in matthew 24 in verse 9 again then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you mm -hmm. and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake Read. And then shall many be offended. See, you gonna you you gonna be that one that get offended? Oh man, Lord, let me get thrown in prison, man. The man, the Lord, man, Lord, I lost my job, man. I was doing the work, I lost my job, man. See, I lost my woman, I lost everything, nigga. That's what's supposed to happen. Look at Job, man. The scripture said, "Thinking not strange concerning the fiery trials, man." Okay. So, uh, there, there's no temptation that, uh, that has overtaken me, not coming to men. It's roughly paraphrasing. All right? We got to go through it. Go ahead. And then shall many be offended. It's a lie. And be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And these are the things that you have to consider. All right? Your own family turning their backs on you. Okay? Losing, losing, losing brothers that you battle with. Uh, on the battlefield, brothers turning cold, going back into the world because they got offended. And see, that energy can offend the next brother, man. Okay? You have to take all of that in consideration. You have to count all that. You have to add all that up. All right? When you come to serve the Lord and you really want to uh, uh, get salvation, you have to understand the losses that come with it. Go ahead. Verse 11, and many false prophets shall rise. Mm -hmm. It shall deceive many, mm -hmm. and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right, it's the love is the keeping of the commandments, man. So when iniquity comes, people are going to turn away from what pleases the Most High. The pleasure of the Most High is when we keep His commandments, when we walk in His truth. You don't see Jake go right back into the world the closer we get to the end. Here it is, Jake the seen chariots. Jake had been delivered out of out of certain uh, uh, situations. All right, of uh, uh, different levels of intensity, but Jake gonna forsake all of that to 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 to, uh, to uh, subside with the beast. All right, to submit to the beast, to be in subjection to the beast, man. You know. Go ahead, give me uh, give me Luke 14. Brothers, had something else? Give me Luke 14, uh, 28. You read 33. It's Luke 14 and 28. For which of you intended to build a tower, sitting not down first and counting the code? Right, because you gotta understand what we're doing. 
we're gathering together the Lord's elect, which we're not doing it. The spirit that's in us is doing it. The Lord is using us for that purpose. Okay? It's not about you. Okay? It's about it's, it's about the Lord's elect. It's about the Lord's kingdom being established on earth, man. Go ahead. What he has to finish it, to finish it less happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him. Right. Saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. Right, and that's not what you want, man. You don't you don't you don't want to be the one uh that have to stand before the Lord and, and, and answer the question of why you quit. You know, you want to hear good job, a uh, faithful servant. You know? You want to hear the Lord's uh words telling you uh that you uh, are, 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 are of his elect and giving you that crown of life, man. Well, my boy, yeah, they say, um, what that is? Second Edges, uh, 2 and 40, 46. Oh, my good faithful servant. Oh, you gave, gave him the crown of life. Yeah. He stood stiffly. Yeah, they know that stood so stiffly. Yeah, they yeah. stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. Yeah. You know, that's what you want. That's what you want ultimately. And that's what you got to continuously consider. Go back, it's more. Did you read down to 33? No, 31. It said, Or oh, what king, Luke 14, 31, Or oh, what king going to make war against another king, sitting that down frozen? This is what we in. We in spiritual war. Yeah. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, the principalities, all right? A spiritual wickedness in, in high places, man. We in war. And they have the advantage physically. <laughs> but what the Lord wants to show is that physical power doesn't compare to the power that he has for us. All right? You about to see you about to see power being displayed on the earth as it has never been seen in any other age, man. Hold second Ezra the ninth chapter of uh, Yaqub. Go ahead, bro. And consulted whether he read that from the top again. Luke 14, 31. Or what king going to make war against another king, sitting that down first and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that come against him with 20,000. <laughs> you see? And the Lord has set us up to be outnumbered purposely. The odds are against us, man. Seemingly. <laughs> because in spirit, the odds are against them. Go, no, go make your point. I was just going to say, when, um, when Elijah said, open up his eyes, that he can see, you know, when he saw the, the, uh, the chariots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the spiritual, the spiritual realm, all right, is the invisible realm of power that these people are not in tune with. These people can only cope with the things that they see because they are carnal people, all right? Yeah, he's showing saying it's more than us than them. Yeah. But he couldn't see it, you know, but it takes faith. Yep. Well, I tell you, faith believe that the Lord, uh, you know, gonna come and deliver you out of, you know, in these situations. Yep. Just like uh, in the uh, Dragon uh, Ball Z, uh, the uh, uh, what is it, the cell games with uh, Go <laughs> Gohan, you know, uh, Goku was with him the whole time, you know, yes. and, you, and and they showed that great power behind uh, behind. Uh, Gohan when he did the what the uh, father son Kamehameha yeah. you know because the spirit that worketh in us is the spirit of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah man all right and in due time he's going to manifest that power to the world through us all right go ahead it say uh 32 or else where the other is yet a great way off he said in a basin so like an in basin let me see let's see Ambassage. Ambassage and desire condition of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsake it not all that he had, he cannot be my disciple. Right. So whoever whoever is not ready to lose it all, right, he can't get the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? Because that's the type of discipline that it's gonna take. Alright? When when it when it when it all uh said and done. <laughs> he beat me down to my drawers. Yeah. You gotta be willing to lose your daddy's watch, nigga. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Whatever it takes. Yeah. You know? 
just a little inside joke. <laughs> Go ahead with this second answer, bro. Nine. Nine and uh, you can start at like uh, start at the top, read kind of, you know, read into it. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna break it down to get to the point. This is second answer is nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Yep. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yep. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right, the appointed vision, go ahead. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Right, the end is made known through those things that the Lord told us about, okay? Those prophecies. We, we, we know what the end is gonna be like because the Lord told us, all right? Go ahead. Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and, and signs. Right, endings and effects and signs, man. Okay? So the Lord is gonna is gonna show great power the closer that we get to his return. All right. Just as in the beginning when all things were made, all right, there was there was great marvelous works done. The end is going to be even more powerful than the beginning, man. Because the end truly is a new beginning. Okay. It says, uh, verse 7, And everyone that shall be saved and, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Right. That's how we're going to escape. Okay? That faith. That's the only thing that we gonna have it said the just shall live by his faith that's the only thing we want to have that no man can take from us all right nobody's going to be able to take the faith of the lord's elect okay and that faith is the power to move mountains that that faith is the power to overthrow governments that faith is the power to overcome the beast to overcome famine to overcome pestilence okay to overcome all that we have lost and that faith is going to turn uh, 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 us into into a, a profitable service to the Lord, and then we're going to be profitable into the world, as it says in Second Ezra the tenth chapter. In due time, the Lord will put one, uh, set one up that is profitable. All right. But after we go through all this hell, all right, we're going to be found worthy. It's going. It's, it has to be earned. That's why scripture say, it, earnestly contend for what the faith. That's the that's the that's the true gift that the Lord has given you, the power to overcome the world. That was it on that. You had something? Uh, but no, no. Go back to Matthew we'll end with that. So this is back in Matthew chapter 24. Was you at verse 13? Yep. That's what that's it. We're in on that. Come. So this is Matthew 24 and verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right. He didn't endure to the end. Right? So this ain't a a thing of, you know, you uh coming in for a little season, you put your little time in, and then going back into the world and think that it's gonna be all good with the Lord. No, it said he didn't endure to the end, all right? You have to keep that faith, okay? You can't lose that faith. That's the ultimate, that's the ultimate uh, 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 gift that the Lord has gave us that we can't uh, neglect. You would say what? Neglect not the gift of faith, man. Yeah. Keep nourishing that seed. You ever say that faith is the key? Yeah. Faith is the key for unlock, unlocking the door of salvation. You know what I'm saying? Nobody say by your works and what? By faith. By faith and by your works. Yep. See? So that's a, that's a combination. That's a combo. Mm -hmm. You know? But through our works and through our faith, you know what? We, hey, Lord willing, we be delivered. Yep. You know? But guess what? We got to continue to in that and what? To time come. You know? Ain't no breaks. Mm -hmm. Yep.
Well, it's all gas, you know, Jake said in the world, all gas, no brakes, man. Mm -hmm. Especially because we, we at the end, we're in the fourth quarter. And the Lord ain't doing no overtime, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.